WESC. Hey, I'm Rudy. This is my 1989 Bay Lighter Sierra. It's a project boat. We've been doing a lot to it. Got the motor replaced. Got most of the interior back in. As you can see, it's falling out, so we're going to be battling the leaves each time we uncover it. But today we're going to get back to uh, installing stuff and uh, finishing up what we were doing on the interior. So, come on in. This is why I hate leaves. Even having it covered, somehow they got in here. And if you leave them, they stain everything. Damn little beads are everywhere. Get out of here. Ah. Alright, so it's been a little while since I put a video out. I've been pretty busy building the uh, chicken coops. Um, I get a little bump this time of year and I need it. The money I've been spending on this thing. So yeah, I was thankful for that. Unfortunately, today is very nice it's been really hot 100 degrees every day kind of kicking my butt so i haven't been able to come up here at all um you can see we're heading into fall these dang leaves we're gonna battle those but yeah in the meantime um while i was working on those i was looking at different stuff and yeah it's funny how things go along um i started looking at a faucet for the uh, for the galley sink and I wanted the electric faucet I don't want to use it for the fresh water I like having the hand pump and that restricts you from wasting it I mean you're pumping and you're using what you're pumping um, I want an electric pump that I want to run to outside most of the time I'm gonna be in fresh water sometimes it will be salt water but you can still you know wash office dishes and stuff like that without using your on storage fresh water um that led to me running into this which is a wash down pump and yeah originally this all started i wanted a shower they call it transom shower or whatever and they're very expensive and you're talking like a hundred dollars just for the box for this stupid thing and yeah so I don't have a shower I don't have a wet head on the boat so I was like it'd be nice to have a transom shower at least and like I said I saw the prices of those and it's it's crazy so what I ran into this is, is actually a wash down this has got a long enough hose that I can spray down the whole boat so when you're in fresh water it's nice you can spray it all down so the thing is, is trying to figure out where to install this so that it can still be used. The problem I have is it would be easy to install it down in the engine compartment, but with the engine door open, it is a pain in the butt. So I was looking around for like a hatch or something that I can like put this inside of and like bolt to the side and I can't find anything that's reasonable. Like, they're like a, just a stupid simple little hatch and they're one like a hundred, hundred and sixty dollars. So yeah, I, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know if I'm just gonna drill a hole and run this line out or build a box or what we're gonna do. But anyway we got the pump. I figure if I got it here we can figure out the size and try to figure out how to run it out and everything um all that ran into me finding this which i just thought was pretty cool um it's a little glove box a little locking glove box what's nice though is it has these little cup holders so i found this while looking at the boxes for this this actually really, really, 
really wasn't that bad. It was fairly cheap, so I went and bought that. And what I'm probably going to do is install that down on the side. I like it because it gives you a place to put your phone, you have your cup holders and stuff. But, uh, yeah, not big enough to put all of this in. But, yeah, it's funny how this things just move from one thing to another like that. But anyway, what we got to get to now is get back to figuring out how to install these. Um, my solar panel has been a disaster. The third time was the charm. Uh, the first two that they sent me were completely shattered. One, they wouldn't even deliver because it was shattered so bad. The second one, I thought it was good. I opened the box and it was shattered. And I actually got glass in my arm trying to get it back into the box. Um, yeah, they sent a third one. It finally arrived yesterday and it's not busted. It's stored down in the office. We'll get to how we're going to install that, but we got to figure out how to run the cables for that back to here and get all that hooked up. We got a lot of figuring out to do. We still have to figure out or finish up what we're going to do in the bathroom. The bathroom needs the gal or the head. It needs to be cleaned up really well. We still got to do the little piece of carpet in there or whatever we're going to do. So, yeah, just to kind of catch you up on where we're at. Still a mess. Still a lot to do, but at least it's cooler and I got a little bit of time to do it. So, time to get to it. All right. So I had somebody ask about the head and how all that works. And like I said, we still need to clean this area up and do what we're going to do in here. But basically your little Japsco head, some of them have a porta potty. Some of them have an actual head. The way it works is you switch this valve over here and pump and that sucks in water. You fill up that bowl. You flip that switch that way and that pumps the stuff to the holding tank in the back of the boat. Now, you can see this line here comes out of the back and goes back to the holding tank. That other line here on the top, that's your water line from the back. Now the sink, that gray line is your, your feed to your sink and your sink just drains directly out of the side right there. So we're going to go to the back and see where the stuff goes. Alright, so back here, that's your waste tank. As you can see, mine's been stepped on a few times by people working on the engine compartment. This line here at the top is where your stuff comes from the head and goes into the tank. Down here, this is the through hole fitting where your water comes from. This has to be open to be able to use the head. But of course, you got to be in the water. What I noticed when I was looking at this is I can turn this with my hand. That is super scary. You now want to be able to do that. Through holes to the head have sunk more boats, man. It's, it's definitely something serious, and boats have sank because of it, simply because of the head. Not because of storms or damage or anything else, just the head through hole leaking. So we're going to have to fix that. We're going to take it apart and rebed it. Now as we go over here, this big hose on the bottom here comes up to where your pump out is. To have it pumped out at the dock or whatever you're going to do there. Under here it's really hard to get to. And hard to see. But there's a mercerator pump right there. It's kind of hard to say. There is the hole here where it, it's pumped down this hose and out. The hose here in the back, the hose here in the back goes to the bottom of the tank. It's so hard. I'm sorry. It's just hard to film that down there. But there is a pump that you can use to empty it out straight out in the water. If you're in a coastal regions or marinas and stuff, of course, you want it pumped out through there. But the switch on my boat for that pump is this accessory here. But that's how that works. All right, I got a question. Anybody else? with one of these do you know what this line was for
that's below the water line. It's behind the refrigerator. I wasn't sure what it was and I didn't like it so I've got it epoxied off but that's what I was planning on using for the intake for the sink pump. But if you know what it is let me know. Yeah, like I said, I epoxied over that, but that's where that comes out. Just below the sink drain. There's your bill strain. So yeah, I don't know what that was. If anybody else knows what that was, let me know. Man, my legs are dying from this. So we got the valve back in there and we can close it easier and it ain't moving so that's done